Hi folks. Well, it's been a while since I've posted anything on my YouTube channel uh, with the holidays and everything. We just decided to hang out with family in our home base area of uh, Arizona. We live in the Chandler area of Arizona. The kids are there and so we spent the holidays there. And uh, so I'm going to pick it up with this video here. It's a, I did a trip to CES. It's a consumer electronics show. Uh, if you're not familiar with CES, you can look it up at CES. I think it's CES.org or just Google CES or Consumer Electronics Show. Uh, it's every year. It's an annual show in Las Vegas, and it's about four days, and, um, and it's all about technology. Since I work in the field of technology, I like to go to the show from, tra from I like to go to the show from time to time and um, check and see what's out and do a little networking stuff like that. So. I know I haven't posted a lot lately, and I've just been really busy with work and other things. And um, uh, you know, I've done some upgrades around here. In fact, we're in the middle of doing some stuff right now. Uh, I haven't filmed any of it because it's not upgrades that you couldn't type into YouTube and you know, Max Air Fan install. Tons of people doing that. For me to add yet another Max Air Fan install would be kind of boring. So I'm trying to keep it things that are interesting something unique to see so um, I used to post every week and maybe I'll get back to that again eventually but um, right now I just kind of it was kind of sucking up a lot of my time every weekend I had editing and and I was it was like taking a lot of my time to do the channel and um, and yeah and it was just taken away from other stuff so I had to dial it back uh, anyway so hope you uh, enjoy this video. This is uh, some recordings I did on the way up there and uh, what the show was like. And so stay tuned. <laughs> uh, well, we're here in Flagstaff at Black Bart RV Park next to Black Bart Steakhouse, which is this really cool. You can, uh, this is here in Flagstaff. You can um, park your RV here, and um, and then literally walking distance down to a really nice steakhouse that has some uh, singing and uh, and other stuff that goes on there. Very, uh, it's very period correct for Arizona location. Anyway, we're still making our way toward a Flagstaff. No, I'm sorry. We are making our way toward Vegas, on our way towards the CES Consumer Electronics Trade Show. So we're just stopping off here in Flag and spend the night, and then we'll head on toward Vegas today. So it's cool to come up here and and uh, spend an evening here in the snow and just see the snow. A little nippy out here. Now it's time to fold this thing up and hit the road. So, I'm sure those things will give you a lot of fun to dig out <laughs> in the mud. When you come up here flag, you need to bring a heated hose if you're going to leave the water hose out. Otherwise, you'll have to do what I did, which is fill up your tank, put the hose away. So... Vegas. I only made it here from uh, Flagstaff. We stayed the night. Um, so just to give you an idea of where I am, you can see there is the Circus Circus and I'm parked just behind the Circus Circus so uh, the strip is just right over there. So this is Circus Circus RV Park which is a pretty good deal considering during the uh, Consumer Electronics Show, Vegas grows about 300,000 attendees to come attend that trade show. And there's about 3,000 vendors uh, over at the convention center. In fact, it's grown so large that uh, it now has expanded to include the Sands Hotel, 
uh, Tech West they call it there for Eureka Park um, so it's a pretty big deal here in Vegas every second week of January each year and uh, I don't come here every year but uh, now and then I come um, I actually had a booth here one year uh, demoing a prototype product um, or I just come to attend and do a little networking try to uh, see what's new in the components wise for what uh, in the engineering world what kind of new components to engineer with as well as try to network and uh, and uh, drum up new clients for my uh, consulting business so that's why I'm here this time which is to do a little consulting and networking and um, uh, this time of year a hotel even a even a lower cost hotel that might normally be a couple hundred a night will be you know four or five hundred a night so um, this is something I don't think a lot of folks that go to CES realize as you can see the RV park is mainly empty and uh, while the hotels are beyond capacity I mean, they're they're full if you could even find a room tonight it would be like I said it would be at the low end would be four or five hundred and be well over a thousand for even a mid mid-level uh, hotel room at any of the at any of the hotel rooms casinos on the strip so um, the sites here vary depending upon the length of the site I'm in one of the longer ones and this one's 50 a night and I think it gets down to around 40 a night on the, for the shorter ones at the time of recording at the, this recording so yeah I don't think a lot of people really understand uh, that there's this RV park is here and provides a nice alternative to um, getting a hotel room particularly for the CES show um, even even if you were renting an RV and then renting a space here at 50 a night uh, when you consider the cost of even a mid to low level hotel room on the strip this is a pretty good bargain so plus it's walking distance so I don't need to drive anywhere or park I just get dressed and uh, walk right on over to uh, the convention center itself or I can go to the front of the circus circus and catch a bus that will take me over to the convention center all right I got my badge and I'm on my way to the convention center. CES is a pretty big deal trade show wise. The city of Las Vegas grows about 300,000 temporary residents to attend it. That's visitors to see about 3,000 different vendors. So in terms of this size, you can't get much bigger than CES. All right, this is the North Hall of the Convention Center. So I've walked maybe a mile or so from my RV. And we're gonna check out the North Hall. All right, since CES is a consumer electronics show, that does include the automotive side of the business. It's going to be a hybrid Jeep.
this is the year of the electric bike at CES because there's a lot of electric bikes here. All right, this is Central Hall. <laughs> TVs and almost infinite resolution. You come to CES and see them before they end up in stores. where you generally will find a bit more traction for the types of networking that I want to do. So I'm going to start walking down this aisle right here. Alright, I'm going to head over to Tech West. That's over the Sand Center. CS has grown so large that it can't all fit in the convention center, so uh, some of the trade show was actually at the Sands, so we're going to go over there and check out some of the booths over there. Alright, here we are at the Sands Expo. different stuff here AR AR and VR some of the innovation awards over here nice connections hopefully some one of those will pan out or more more than one all right well I'm heading back to the RV take a little break so we'll check back in later I'm gonna walk through the Venetian and um, see if I can make my way back to the strip and then just walk back to Circus Circus I could just go back and take the bus back to Convention Center and take a bus back to Circus Circus so if you have a hotel I mean, it is possible to ride a bus, uh, but I like to walk, and um, if you looked at my weight on camera, you can see I need to do a lot more walking and a lot less eating, which is kind of hard to do in Vegas. So much to eat here. But uh, yeah, anyway, I come here every now and then, and I always forget the way back. So it's, it's like a re-adventure every time. Today. All 
right, this is the last day of the show. I'm gonna go there and check out a few more things I want to see. And uh, I think that'll be it for our stay here. As more and more cars go up all electric, we're starting to see more and more boost selling charging stations for in the home or or even for companies to uh, mount them at their retail outlets. So much bigger presence in recharging stations for all electric automobiles. Pretty cool. Two million. One point two million. For yeah. this little scope. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, it goes up to 110 gig. Cool. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Man, that's awesome. I have an oscilloscope, but it's a lot less power than that. All right. So that oscilloscope you're looking at for 1.2 million dollars. All the electronic gadgets that you have today, from TVs to automobiles to smartphones to television sets. They're all engineered and the tools that you need to engineer new electronic devices require things like uh, benchtop power supplies and oscilloscopes. Oscilloscopes allow you to um, take a look at how the circuit is performing to see if it's performing the way you intended it to during the design phase. And that is all a necessary component for the engineering that comes before the production of all the gadgets that make the modern world modern. So that may not be something you, you as a consumer would ever ever see, an oscilloscope. But if you're in engineering, you see them all the time and at 1.2 million dollars that's a really really high-end oscope. see this <laughs> so you can print so this is edible yeah edible. you can eat that it's chocolate yeah, yeah. wow pretty cool, cool. <laughs> so printing from that yeah <laughs> that's really cool so no need to bake your cookies you can 3d print them <laughs> that's right yes devices is a chip maker you'll find analog devices in a lot of the gadgets you're using a manufacturer like Apple that makes the smartphone um, they design the phone but they don't make every chip that goes on the phone in fact except for that new processor they have they don't make any of the chips they design the circuit card using chips from other manufacturers like analog devices so, if you're an engineer, you can come here and find all the latest and components that you would find in, in, in a new circuit board design you might be working on. 
All right, well, that wraps up our uh, tour here of the CES show. Um, this is the fourth day, so the last day of the show. I just showed you like day two and day four, and uh, back here at the RV. I uh, hope you found some of it interesting, some of the things that I showed in the video. Um, so we're going to pack up the RV tomorrow and head toward California.